Hi, it's Heather um, with another update for my vlog. Um, today is the 3rd of July and 2022 is the year. I've been doing this for a little over two years now. Um, if this is the first time that, you know, you've, you're seeing a vlog of mine um, after COVID from February and March of 2020, um, it reactivated a whole bunch of things and I believe also activated some things as well as being its own weird thing. COVID's a very weird virus in my opinion. Um, and I, I think we don't fully understand exactly what it does to people yet. Um, it does feel a little bit like a personal hero's journey when you get it, at least that's how it felt for me. Um, but anyway, I've been sort of slogging through recovering from the complex chronic conditions that were, um, some were known prior and some were unearthed after. Um, and I'm in this really interesting point right now where I can think through and reflect on um, the past two years, wondering kind of seeing what's working and what's not working and where I'm going. And I, I believe I'm at a sort of an interesting moment where um, I'm starting to transition away from simply treating something and really trying to work at building habits that are aligned with my life, like new habits that are going to sustain my health. Um, and I, I would have thought that I was doing that the entire time, but I think in fact what I was doing was still applying things um, as a protocol um, or as a treatment. Um, and the functional medicine model, you know, Lyme literate doctors, mold literate doctors, whether they come from a natural approach or an allopathic approach, there's this allopathic or sort of Western medicine style, which is uh, still being applied, which is uh, using, I don't know, there's something about it that's still uh, looking at it as a treatment. And I've become less and less sort of satisfied with that because it doesn't feel like living. It feels like following a lot of rules and not necessarily seeing the gains that I'm supposed to. And I think that's because there's something about the way that I'm gonna heal from this that is gonna to have to do with um, with finding a lifestyle. Um, and I, you know, again, Western medicine, uh, you know, functional medicine would talk about lifestyle, but they still talk about it in a way that kind of separates it into parts and doesn't quite see the whole picture. I, I don't quite have the language for it yet, but I just have this feeling that there's something else um, that's kind of meant for me right now. Um, maybe not permanently, but like right now. So I'm um, wrapping up a whole bunch of things. I'm in the final stages of that. And uh, some additions have been added. Um, and then there's some uh, new things that I'm sort of transitioning into and exploring. And so I thought this would be a really good time to sort of update my vlog. Um, and I may be shutting down my vlog entirely. Uh, it becomes less and less useful as I find more uh, accountability in my life. This, this vlog was really meant for me to keep myself accountable. Um, and give me, have, give me a place to sort of like collect stuff. And I don't know that I need to do this anymore. So I have a feeling this is going to be long if I don't get going into it. So these are the things that are ending. Uh, I have one week left in Pittsburgh. Um, I have a few, um, the final moving day of things into my storage unit will be this coming Friday. It's a Sunday and today's the 3rd of July, if I didn't say that. Um, I'm very excited about it and I'm ready to try some different things. So, um, but the changes are somewhat modified. So I have applications out to some different places in the country. Um, one, it looks like they are actually reviewing my application for something that's come open. So I'll see, it's a, it's an income, it's one of those like mixed, it's one of those mixed income type renovations. It's like a green building. Um, so my income would have to match one of the available units that are available, whether it's market rate or um, work like lower income or workforce rate. So we'll, we'll see where I fall in both of those categories for this state and whether there's a match. So that's happening. Um, I'm gonna be going to Texas and exploring how I feel about living in Texas per some of my previous uh, updates. And I don't know if I posted, I've been vlogging a lot, but not posting things um, just to get to think through my life. 
um, and Texas was one of the locations that I'm, I'm looking into um, for a number of reasons. Uh, and then I'm also getting a, an apartment in the meantime, kind of as a safety, and I don't necessarily do well with safeties in my life. It, I'm better when I just kind of go for things. Um, but the safety is to get another apartment with my roommate, my current roommate, as a fallback. So I wasn't really wanting to pay rent for the past next couple of months. I wanted to be really floating out there, able to kind of do whatever and have like that extra income coming in. But I, I started thinking about it and I was like, you know, this could take a little while. Um, everything about moving takes longer for me. So, and with the addition of like needing to know that it's a mold free or mold free enough uh, apartment, that puts a qualifier on there that's really hard to predict and it could take quite a bit longer. So um, I got this, we've got applications out to one, we didn't get there in time. This next one we're working on this today and I'm hoping that we'll have some answers by the end of this week and I'll have a place to come back to after um, a Texas house sit and then another house sit after that and another location. Um, so that's what's going on with that. I just wrapped up my Marcon's um, treatment, which was the nebulizing for the resistant strains of bacteria in my nose. My first test, I had six strains. After the first round of treatment, I only had two and two is the number that still qualifies you as having Marcon's. So um, I'll need to get another lab test, uh, you know, as soon as I can. I'm, I'm kind of gonna wait till I get to Texas because there's just too many details. But once I'm set up there and I can get the test uh, shipped out to there, or I can go to get blood taken or whatever it is, I can't remember what it is, um, then I will get that tested. Um, and then the other thing is my Lyme uh, herb treatment is wrapping up as well in uh, two weeks. And that's the second 90 day treatment, which I found out is really primarily sort of a parasite cleanse, but it's also killing the Lyme. So it's like both at the same time. Um, and so again, I'm at this sort of end point of like going, okay, we're gonna see how things are now and where I need to go. Some of the things that I've um, added, primarily because I was having a lot of trouble, um, is weekly sauna sessions. Um, I was finding I was having a lot of trouble um, with migraines and um, those have eased up some. I did have a headache this last week, um, but it didn't, it wasn't as overpowering um, and it is lined up with my cycle. So um, I know there's some, I know there's a lot of hormonal imbalances at this point and I, I do understand that mold is extremely disruptive to hormone balance. Um, so yeah. You know who knows what will happen once I get out of this apartment so that's what's going on with that um, I've also reduced the dosage of the line treatment um, uh, you know my doctor said take it as strong as you can to the point of what they were recommending get as far as you can get without disrupting your life and I've decided just to kind of really make it super gentle um, knowing that there will still be some improvement and some effect um, with the completion of the Marcons, my brain feels really sharp now. Um, I don't have any brain foggy days. I don't have any, I do occasionally get some of these like weird inflammation days and the headaches, but I don't have the inability to process in the same way. I don't have my command of language back yet and I don't know if I ever will, but um, that's where that is. And the other thing I added was uh, I've started working with a she's sort of a Lyme coach especially, but she also works with people with complex chronic uh, conditions, which that's me. So, and she's uh, primarily works with emotions and energy. And that was sort of a, a piece of this that I wasn't processing and I knew I wasn't able to process on my own. And even after one session with her, uh, again, I'm gonna wait until I get to Texas because there's just too much to wrap up here in Pittsburgh. Um, but even one session with her, made a profound difference. Um, so those are the additions that I've made that are really specific to um, the protocol that I'm on right now and, and moving forward. And she would be able to work with me independent of the doctor um, or in coordination with the doctor if I wanna modify my treatments in any way. She's also a master herbalist. And she and her whole family are in remission for Lyme. So she's been through it and she's on the other side to a great extent and that to me, it's like it's worth it to work with people who have been there, and that includes my doctor. Okay, 
things I've added. This is very long. I want to get through this. Um, I, I want to switch my approach. And I think I'm at the moment in my life where I can switch my approach to, you know, what are the things I need to bring into my life that equals healthy living and that are in alignment with where I want to be heading and who I want to be, like what I want to do essentially. And moving away from things, thinking of things as protocols or treatments. Um, and one of the things I've added because I've been experiencing this exercise intolerance, um, is I've added, uh, signed up for a three month vocal, um, vocal course with a music mentor that I had worked with in the past thinking like if I ever want to record another album a year from now or two years from now, I better start now building my voice, my, my lungs, my neck, my throat, everything is super weak. And I also ha knew that if I'm going to go back into music, um, which I think is where I need to be going, whether I'm, there's a resistance there, I need to work through that, but, um, I need to have a voice that's truly aligned with my health. Um, I, I need to have a voice. Let's start, start there. And what I realized is working through some of these vocal exercises I've been in a class about a week and a half now is that I had no idea how to sing for the last almost 30 years, last 30 years, let's just say. I had no idea how to sing. I'm starting now learning how to sing, like actually. Um, it's incredible. And the, and the work, I'm just doing breathing exercises. I, I'm not even doing the singing exercises. I'm just doing the vocal therapy exercises, which is a lot of breathing, relaxation, working with this and this, and the back, the, the palate, separating that, um, which is already enormously helpful for so many other things. And the posture work is super rigorous. Um, I have terrible posture, but I also have terrible strength right now. And so I feel like it's working really well as physical therapy for me, but it's an alignment for who I want to be and where I want to go. And so there's this internal, um, uh, there's this internal motivation that's for something as opposed to fixing something, if that makes any sense. So I'm doing that. And the other thing I added was, is um, I'm taking a month long class, which actually can get extended because it's part of a community um, on living according to Ayurveda. And while there's a lot of things in there that I feel may not apply to me in the, in the long run, there's a lot in there that, again, like I, you know, I've been eating meals my entire life. And yet this is the first week that I feel like I'm learning how to eat. Um, it's really basic stuff. And because digestion is so crucial to brain health and immune system and all these things like learning some of the rules for how to eat that have, have you know thousands of years of uh experience backing it up um it feels like a great thing to do and at least to try because again it's not about fixing a problem it's about living right living, like right aligned living that should um, pull your body into a better state of balance. And then some of these other things can resolve themselves. Obviously, you still probably need treatment for some things. And the longer you've been out of balance, the harder it may be there or longer it might take. There's there's different stages of this a lot. I don't understand. It's very confusing. Okay, but that's what I'm doing. And then things that are in transition, um, besides location is, I don't know if I'm going to stay with the clinic I'm working with. Um, there have been some interactions in the last two months that have just made me not feel so excited about it. Um, and honestly, a lot of it's financial. Um, I feel like I'm getting, I'm not getting a lot of bang for the buck, so to speak. So I will meet with them again. I would like to stay with them, but I don't know how to I don't know how they'll work with the things that I want to do and if that's the right fit for right now. So I might have to pause that. I think eventually I'd like to have a, a doctor that's local that can do all the things from acute care to complex stuff to well woman care, like the whole thing, but we'll see. So those are the updates. I'm very excited about the changes and uh, I will update again later. Thanks. Why did I say thanks? <laughs>